that's you or Mark. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's really way. And, and uh, I did the exact same image, but I got into it really detailed on it, and it drove me crazy. And I kept saying, I can't finish this thing. I can't finish it. And he goes, art is something that whenever you decide to stop, is finished. <laughs> and and it, it's you know a little thing, but it just kind of made me aware of the fact that it wasn't an expectation on. What the, the, what the, yeah, what, what the final outcome of the whole thing was, it was more of your experience as an artist making the art. And so this was the second one I did, and it was much freer and simple and it broke it down. Anyway, that's very good on that. So, here we are. Thinking about other things. Um, happy thoughts. Versus cynicism and a general propensity for discord, a dysfunctional reasoning reasoning form. <laughs> okay, whatever happened to our happy thoughts? Where is that childish fiction, that innocent flirtatious brush with something close, so very close to optimism? Why are we still waiting, still hungrily anticipating that slow, soft, full-on, life-changing, mind-blowing, lip-to-lip lock kiss? Am I the only individual expecting some emotionally benevolent circumstance to stir the stagnant air? Something all warm and fuzzy to come buzzing around my poor old sleepy head? Tell me, please tell me, can we even be alive if the levity is dead? I have to believe that we are all longing for a fantastically gasmagorical, a golden ray of hope, some hard-won prize to tease us like a birthday gift to leave us with a long and blissful sigh. We are not greedy, not no, not you, nor I. We only ask for one more upbeat premonition, some poet-perfect axiom to jumpstart our souls, energize our harried minds, make our hearts pound unstoppable, fan romantic flames, make us yearn for the good life, endeavor to do anything. Like envisioning a cold beer on a hot summer day, a great undulating lake laced with white-capped waves, a blue tent sky full of tumbling circus clouds, a grassy knoll ready made for running up and rolling down, fingers tracing the warm curvature of skin, a waking dream that we refuse to forget, ecstasy inhaled and anxiety exhaled, the eternal spark of hope in that one sweet moment. But as of late, it could be said, our pipes have become clogged, our stopped up brains forcing us to rant and rave, and in this state we are pressured to vent. We seem completely incapable of processing any happy thought with any good intent. But having said, having been, but that having been said, let me give you my take on cynicism. <laughs> it all begins with the sterile severance of our umbil severance of our umbilical cords and the sanctimonious snipping of so many male foreskins. It emulates from the foul taste of the water that we are forced to drink and multiplies like blowflies in the face of starvation and disease run rampant. It grows like black mold with a proliferation of racial slurs and marches to the propaganda of fascist governments. It manifests itself with the purchase of a well-dressed, fully-breasted Barbie doll and talks trash at the coming out party of a dickless kin. We all struggle in this cloud of chaos and confusion, driven to the beginning of yet another bitter end. Ultimately, we find ourselves waiting at a bus stop where the bus only stops every now and again. Huddled masses, we are gathered here today, driven by whip of subliminal message, ideologies, force-fed, imperatives, secreted and sugar-coated cereals, and little white pills, corporate brands seared inside impressionable young heads, this the grimmest of fairy tales. We have come to respect, to expect, yes, to accept the evil, sweet-talking exploitation of our misguided youth, provocateurs pretending love and understanding, never once stating the obvious or telling the truth, our destiny, mine and yours waits behind the massive doors of a big red slaughterhouse. Too many, it would seem, there is only this and nothing more. A rebel yell turns heads, twists arms, said, says pocket the change, dream the big dream, keep all eyes fixed on the little red ball. And though Danny knows this is not real poetry, I want to believe, I want to believe in something purposeful, something positive, which now reminds me of my happy thought. Last night I found a $20 bill lying on the ground. I picked it up and put it in my back pocket. Fighters keepers, losers weepers. <laughs> so 
So I didn't know what kind of music it came up to pair with that. <laughs> so I'll go with this one. Get the sweetest 